Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. And in this UJS 3 tutorial, we will learn about before unmount and unmounted lifecycle method. So uh, this video again have three points. First of all, we will learn when they call example and interview questions. So the first question is when they call. So let's say you have a component and on a button click, you want to remove uh, your component, right? So where it is our button, button is obviously in the parent component or anywhere else and uh, we want to remove some other component that time before removing that component from ui before unmount lifecycle method will be called and after removed your component unmounted lifecycle method will be called in vue.js uh, 1 and 2 uh, these lifecycle method will actually not exist uh, they uh, vue.js 1 and 2 have before destroy and destroyed lifecycle method and in a Vue.js 3 we have uh, before unmount and unmounted lifecycle method so now you again have a question so whenever we want to remove our component from our ui then why we need these lifecycle method what we want to achieve them so sometime we uh, we are using the some special events like uh, set time interval or timeout in our component so they never removed whenever your component will be removed right they will work in a background so we want to clear these events and we want to remove these things manually right so that our application can perform better and take less memory in chrome and load faster so that time we we want to perform some operations some logic on these events right so let's see how this actually working and i will show you the difference in both of them because uh, whenever you want to uh, remove a component you might be confused that what thing we need to do in uh, before unmount uh, and what need to we have to do in a unmounted lifecycle method i will show you that also so this is our output screen so i am going to make a component let's say let me just remove this uh, component first of all uh, user and let me make again so let's say my component name is user dot view and let me define a template here let me close this template and uh, we can take some h1 tag or something like uh, mm, let me put here text like user component right and now we need a script tag And we can close this script tag and uh, let's put here default export and let's put its name like a uh, user and uh, I think I have to put here export default right yeah and uh, now we can import it inside our home component so let's put here import user from user sorry again what I'm doing user dot view right and uh, you can put semicolon if you want and let's uh, register this component in a components property we need components property and now let's simply put here users and uh, let's use this users here in our tom now like this so let's check the output this is working fine so might be this h1 tag going gonna confuse you so i'm removing it right now on a button click uh, i want to remove this component Uh, like this let me just close this button and uh, put here hide right uh, everything is fine now let me take a data property data we can return here and in a return let's uh, just hide just show a property name is true by default and uh, what I can do here on a button click I can 
just hide and show it right so let me put here v on click and uh, let me put here show equal to false and uh, now let's put here v if you can put here show so let's see by default what we are getting here by default we are getting an error so let me just fix it now whenever i'm clicking on it now you can see that this is hidden right so even we can make it toggle also but uh, i just want to go with the hide for a moment right so now in a user i can simply put here these two life cycle methods like uh, before uh, unmount and uh, let me make a console here console dot one or console dot log whatever you want to use uh, and i'm putting here like this right and now let's see is it uh, working or not here you can see that this is working fine so any operation that you want to perform before remove your component from ui or before unmount then you can do it inside this function right so we have another function uh, which is uh, unmount actually unmounted and uh, here we can make it console like this and now what we can do here um, whenever I'm, I'm 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 gonna clicking on it okay let me just uh, load it, it again you can see that both lifecycle method will be called so now some viewers or learners can be confused that okay so we have to uh, write our code where in before unmount or unmounted so i want to clear one thing any operation that will be impact on your this component ui that can be done inside before unmount and anything that you want to perform in other component right uh, after removing this component then you can do it here right so the reason is you cannot find your ui or this component inside unmount i can show you example so let's say you have a ref with it and our ref name is user so whenever you want to get here this dot uh, dollar refs uh, user then you will find that you can get this old uh, h1 tag here so let me show you example here you can see that right we have old data here with the component so but when so that you if you want to perform any operation on the ui then you can perform it there but let's say you want to perform any operation on ui in unmounted then you can't because now you will get here null you will find that now you have null so in unmounted you don't have any ui part any ref and all so you can perform there so that's all in interviews the uh, interviewer can ask that what is the difference between before unmount and unmount you can simply tell that before unmount will call just before unmounting or destroying your component and unmounted called after destroyed your component and uh, the second difference is uh, in uh, before unmount you can get your ui you can work with your ref and anything that you want to do with the uh, your dom then you can do it here and uh, inside unmount you can perform any operation that can impact on other components ui but it should not be uh, used ui of current component because it will be always null in here so that's all for this video bye bye take care